Hello there everybody, Sam Trades here, welcome back to the railway and welcome to another video. Hopefully it's going to be quite an exciting one today because just a few days ago I got quite an interesting little parcel in through the P.O. Box. Uh, it's from a guy called Tom who's just started selling some of his own products, he's producing them himself and he's asked me if I would make a video of them and uh, very kindly he sent me a little gift so we're going to see what's in there right now and uh, yeah it's going to be very exciting. So here is the mystery parcel then that arrived at my P.O. box and of course I've already sort of had it open uh, just because I want to make sure that what I'm filming for you is uh, good and uh, it is actually, it's quite exciting, I think you're all going to really enjoy it. So let's take a look inside here, uh, Tom did send a letter with this stuff which I'm not going to read out, I don't think he, he intended me to, uh, but uh, I will show you what he sent inside here. So. Here you can see inside a little bag, they are tiny little bodies. Let me get this one out. Little locomotive bodies. And I'm going to talk a little bit more later on about really what these are for and what Tom's ideas are for these. But basically they're little bodies that you can buy relatively inexpensively and you can paint them up yourself. It's designed for beginners really, but I suppose anybody would like them. Uh, this is a little saddle tank as you can see. Beautiful thing. I think they're 3D printed, so they're good and strong actually. Surprisingly sturdy. Really, really beautifully designed. And I'll show you this up close in just a second, but that's that one. He also sent something else because he does two different versions of these. He also does a side tank and that's the one I've got inside here but just to sort of show us all what these look like once they've been painted up or what they might look like uh, here's one that he's already done for me in this beautiful blue he actually asked me what color I'd like and I said oh blue please <laughs> so that's what he did of course you could if you bought one of these yourself you could paint them up into whatever you like you could paint them pink if you wanted to uh, I wouldn't recommend it but uh, the choice would be yours so that's very interesting I think what we'll do now then is we'll take a nice close look at these and I'll tell you a little bit more about Tom's ideas and uh, where you can get these and uh, what they're for. So the name for this little line is Toys All Models. Uh, Tom says some people will consider these to be toys and other people might consider these to be models. He says either is fine by him, uh, you could call them what you like. But I think the key is that these are designed really for entry level modelers, people who probably haven't done any painting themselves before, at least not with uh, model locomotives and rolling stock and that sort of thing. They're not strictly for beginners, I think actually any modeler would like these. And I was thinking with Christmas coming up, these would actually make beautiful Christmas presents for model railway enthusiasts. If you are interested in these, incidentally, there is a link in the description uh, which will take you to the website where you can either order this version or the uh, side tank version. I think whichever one you choose is uh, basically the same price. Now, the golden rule with these is that they fit onto the standard Hornby 040 chassis without modification, and that's something we're going to test later on. Uh, but yeah, again, that's supposed to be super easy, and therefore it's low risk. It's uh, a safe way to experiment with painting models without huge costs. So you haven't got to be modified chassis and things you can literally buy this paint it up and stick it onto a working chassis which is a very good idea I think uh, and uh, the models themselves are very very nicely made all of the steps and the small parts are very nicely strengthened from the behind and yet the detail on them is really quite good as you can see here there's plenty going on I mean look you can see here they've got all the uh, the whistles and safety valves picked out there really really perfect for someone who's just experimenting with these things I suppose even children might enjoy having a go at painting these now Tom says he's also got other plans these two models are the only ones available right now but he's also got some plans for rolling stock I suppose we'll have to wait and see what that might involve and he's also got plans for a tender version of something like this which would be lovely a little 040 tender engine would be beautiful uh, so do support Tom if you like these ideas head over to that website and by all means try one if you fancy it uh, if he sells enough I suppose he will carry on with this idea and produce some more stuff which will be very exciting so now the big test is going to be whether or not these bodies can withstand being put onto a Hornby 040 chassis. If you've done it before, you know it's a little bit awkward. Sometimes you have to put quite a lot of pressure on them, so it's going to be really interesting to see whether they can withstand it. So cross your fingers, hopefully they will. Well, needless to say, I am a little bit worried about this part, but hopefully it will be okay. Anyway, so these are the kind of chassis that these are designed to go on, or at least I really hope so. Uh, it be embarrassing if not, and if you're not sure what I mean, it's these. Um, there you go, so that's the original body for it. And if you're really interested, uh, that's the kind of size comparison for you. That's the Caledonian one, it's probably one of my first locos actually. Uh, so, let's give this a shot then. Now, 
Tom says, if you're very careful with these, uh, they should go on fine. He says they go on his 040 chassis just fine, except his is quite an old and worn one. So he says you've got to lug it in at the back, and then if you're careful easing it forward onto the clips, it should work. So yeah, let's, uh, let's give this a try and see what happens, shall we? Uh, probably you're not going to see this bit too well, but I'll do my best not to obstruct things too much. Okay, so I'm going to lug it on at the back like that. And it's a pain because the linkage rods come out here, but I'll get it on in the end, believe me. Oh! Blimey, well that was easy, wasn't it? <laughs> it went down actually very, very easily. In fact, it's a tiny bit wobbly. Um, but yeah, generally that was nice because I was expecting to have to put loads and loads of force onto that. Right. Confidence has been built up slightly now, so let's try the other one. I've got another one here. Uh, where's the kit built one? Here it is. Right, so this one's going to look a bit strange because, of course, it's not painted up, but uh, hopefully we'll just find out whether it fits. Hopefully it will. Hey, how easy was that? So he was right. One of his aims was so that you could actually put these on and take them off very, very easily if you decided to, you know, customizability and all. And that seems to be very much the case. Shall I just try taking one back off again and see how easy that is? <laughs> Extremely easy. And is the thing okay? Yeah, it looks it looks fine on the inside. It doesn't look too badly worn away at all, or at all. Right, let's put that back on one more time just to demonstrate how easy it is. Wow, super easy, incredibly easy. And look at the character they've got. You'll have to just imagine that that one's painted up, but this one has got a lot of character to it, hasn't it? It's quite a tall thing, which I quite like. Right, well, let's put these down onto the track, then we'll get some coaches, and we'll see what they look like with the bodies on running. Ah, oh, so there they are. Don't they look just fantastic down onto the track now? Uh, really perfect for beginners. Uh, I think you can pick these up for basically the cost of a single Hornby 040. Uh, so the value for money there isn't too bad at all, and I think it certainly works out a lot cheaper than buying a more expensive kit and trying to build it and paint it. Uh, and just for how easy it was to put these onto the 040 chassis, this is absolutely perfect for a beginner. Uh, this painted version looks absolutely beautiful, in fact I'm not going to put the old body back onto that, I'm going to keep it as it is because I think it just looks superb like that. Anyway, let's get them running then and have a quick look at them go um, and let's see if we get that feeling, see if we get that buzz. I think I am doing already, it's very exciting isn't it, seeing these Hornby 040s looking so different. So yeah, absolutely love them. Really, really do love them. Again, if you're interested in supporting the project, I've put a link in the description. I won't get anything for it. I'm purely doing this because I think they're great products. And if you do too, uh, let me know in the comments what you think. And if you've got any other ideas for Tom, let me know in the comments and I'll pass them on to him. But ultimately, they're fantastic things, aren't they? What a good idea. And of course, being able to paint them up in any way you like, you can go wappy, you can go realistic. As Tom says, they're toys or models, so it doesn't matter. It's completely up to you. 100% agency on that. Love them. Well, folks, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that for a change, and we'll have to really look forward to seeing what Tom comes up with in the future. Should be good. All right. Cheers, everybody.